found a way to kind of get inspiration how to reach a deformalization. So we organized uh, workshops with uh, a group of not dancers, people not educated in dance. So, uh, what was for me an important point? Um, what I really, really liked is at the end of the workshop, Julia gave a list, uh, which for me was a little artwork in itself, uh, of the phenomena that uh, for Julia and Kena and Katharina uh, were um, impossible to imagine with their bodies. <laughs> I trusted more than is possible to take. So I really wasn't aware of the, uh, the actual, actual physical weight of my body, that if I let myself fall, like, and the floor catches me, but if I let myself fall and there is somebody here to, that needs to catch me, then I need to be sort of aware of how heavy I am. <laughs>
personal information. So the, the storytelling, the first one you saw, is uh, it said that uh, um, the mask is uh, anonymous. It could actually, it's very accessible. It could be, and it's, you call it a shadow, the other ego. Um, but because of the contrast, first of all, with the main actor, you can call it the, the storyteller, uh, it becomes even more clear that the mask uh, is, uh, is, is not a person, it's something else. For me, yeah? and I'm interested afterwards <laughs> to hear what you saw. Um, on, the, on this last one, it's another approach we were uh, actually looking for certain uniformity. Um, my wish was to, to, to lead in a kind of uh, journey where first you perceive the performer with a mask. At a certain point, you see one entity, you don't know anymore what it is, but it's like a kind of personage, you could call it. And by watching that you slowly forget about the mask, and the attention goes really into the body. And it's about almost personalized body. Doesn't matter anymore who the person is behind the mask, it's the body that gets a personality. 